Welcome back to our psychoactive plant series. Today we're delving into the mysterious and intriguing world of belladonna, scientifically known as Atropa belladonna, often referred to as deadly nightshade. This plant has a rich history steeped in magic, medicine, and myth. Known for its potent and sometimes lethal properties, belladonna has been used for everything from cosmetic enhancements to poison. In this episode, we'll explore the origins, active compounds, effects, and the complex role belladonna has played throughout history. Atropa belladonna is a perennial herbaceous plant native to Europe, North Africa, and Western Asia. The plant is characterized by its bell-shaped purple or greenish flowers and shiny black berries. All parts of the plant are highly toxic due to the presence of tropane alkaloids. The name belladonna translates to beautiful lady in Italian a reference to its historical use by women to dilate their pupils for cosmetic purposes. However, its beauty belies its dangerous nature, earning the moniker Deli Nightshade. Belladonna in the is in the same family of plants like tomatoes, potatoes, and tobacco. While Atropa belladonna is the species most commonly associated with the name belladonna, there are related species within the Atropa genus. However, these are well less known and studied. The plant has several chemotypes, meaning variations in its chemical composition, which can influence its potency and effects. These variations are influenced by factors like soil composition, climate, and cultivation practices. Belladonna has a storied history that intertwines with folklore, medicine, and the occult. In ancient times, it was used as an anesthetic for surgery and as a poison. The plant also associated with various deities and spirits. For instance, the genus name Atropa is derived from Atropus, one of the three fates in Greek mythology responsible for cutting the thread of life. During the Middle Ages, belladonna was reputedly used in flying ointments by witches to induce hallucinations and sensations of flight. In Renaissance Italy, women applied belladonna drops to their eyes to dilute, dilute their pupils, giving them a dreamy, alluring appearance, hence the name Beautiful Lady. The primary active compounds in belladonna are tropine alkaloids, notably atropine, scopolamine, and hyoscyamine. These substances are anticholinergic, meaning they block the neurotransmitter acetylcholine in the nervous system. Atropine is well known for its medical applications, such as dilating pupils during eye examinations and treating certain types of poisonings. Scopolamine has been used to prevent motion sickness and as a sedative. However, in larger doses, these compounds can be highly toxic, leading to delirium, hallucinations, and even death. The tropane alkaloids in belladonna exert their effects by antagonizing muscarinic acetylcholine receptors in the central and peripheral nervous systems. By blocking these receptors, they inhibit the parasympathetic nervous system, leading to the symptoms like dilated pupils, increased heart rate, dry mouth, and decrease gastrointestinal motility. In the brain, this antagonism can disrupt normal cognitive and sensory processes, resulting in hallucinations, confusion, and delirium. The potency and rapid onset of these effects make belladonna both a powerful medicine and a dangerous poison. Historically, belladonna has been used in various medicinal preparations. Atropine extracted from the plant is employed in modern medicine for dilating pupils during eye exams as an antidote for certain types of poisonings and to increase heart rate and bradycardia. Scopolamine is used to prevent nausea and vomiting from motion sickness and anesthesia. Despite its medicinal applications, the narrow therapeutic window and high toxicity of belladonna limit its use. Contemporary research is focused on understanding the pharmacological properties of its alkaloids and developing safer synthetic derivatives. The effects of belladonna ingestion can be intense and dangerous. In small controlled dose doses, its alkaloids can provide therapeutic benefits. However, accidental or intentional misuse leads to anticholinergic poisoning. Symptoms include dry mouth, blurred vision due to pupil dilation, photophobia, tachycardia, urinary retention, hallucinations, delirium, and in severe cases, seizures and comas. The hallucinations induced by belladonna are often described as vivid and realistic, 
but they are accompanied by profound confusion and disorientation. Due to these risks, recreational use is strongly discouraged. Side effects of belladonna use, even in medicinal contexts, can include dry mouth, constipation, confusion, and urinary retention. Overdose can lead to severe toxicity and death. Legally, the plant itself is not controlled in many countries, but its alkaloids are regulated substances due to their potential for misuse and harm. Ethically, the use of belladonna raises questions about the balance between its medicinal benefits and risks, as well as considerations regarding the accessibility of potentially dangerous plants and substances. The primary risk associated with belladonna is its high toxicity. All parts of the plant contain potent alkaloids that can lead to severe anticholinergic poisoning. Symptoms can manifest quickly and may require immediate medical attention. There's no specific antidote for belladonna poisoning, but treatment involves supportive care and the administration of activated charcoal to reduce absorption of if ingestion is recent. Physostichnine, a cholinesterase inhibitor, can be used in severe cases to counteract the anticholinergic effects. Due to these risks, handling and consumption of belladonna should be left to professionals. While the dangers of belladonna are well documented, its alkaloids continue to have significant medical applications. Research in atropine and scopolamine has led to advancements and treatments for various conditions, including eye disorders, motion sickness, and certain types of poisoning. There's ongoing interest in developing synthetic analogs that retain therapeutic benefits while minimizing side effects. Additionally, understanding the plant's pharmacology contributes to better management of anti cholinergic poisoning and informs public health strategies regarding plant-related toxicities. Belladonna, or deadly nightshade, stands as a testament to the dual nature of many psychoactive plants, capable of healing and harm. Its rich history and potent effects make it a subject of enduring fascination, however the risks associated with belladonna cannot be overstated. Its place in medicine is secured through the controlled use of its alkaloids, but the plant itself remains a perilous beauty. As we continue to explore the world of psychoactive plants, Belladonna serves as a reminder of the importance of respect, knowledge, and caution. If you found this exploration insightful, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more deep dives into the world of psychoactive flora. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay curious and stay safe.